it going? I hope you're all having an amazing week. So for this Father's Day DIY and in celebration of all the amazing, wonderful fathers out there, I came up with a DIY that I wanted to be memorable and also fun to work on. Um, this is also something that the whole family can enjoy afterward. Let's get started. We are going to be making a storybook for dad this year. To make this, you will need a binder. I found this little one from my local dollar store. Next, I will be using some chalkboard paint. This is optional. You can choose any paint you like, or if you find a binder in the color that you like, go for that and skip the painting part. I just love that chalkboard look. It is such a big trend now, a trend that I adore. Chalkboard paint is also very easy to use and quick to dry. This was a great choice. I decided to paint this on the outside and inside. While I was painting, I had Vincent work on the artwork and the story. After he was finished, I then punched in some holes to fit into the binder. Now it's time for me to work on the cover. So I took out some acrylic paint and a brush. Based on Vincent's story, I was able to get inspired and draw out the cover. Of course, while I was painting, I somehow managed to get paint on my arm. I wanted to create a little something extra and very quick, so what I did was take out some mason jars and drilled holes in them. After that, I took out some clippers and just clip off any sharp edges. From there, I filled the jar up with some almond milk. And then I found these super cute stickers that you can add on and write some fun words or something inspiring or just something happy. Lastly, it's time to add a side of deliciousness. You can bake your own cookies or bake cookies that you know that your dad would like. Here I have some yummy donuts and he can enjoy the donuts, drink some milk and read the story all at the same time. All right, everyone, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if you have any other future suggestions, don't forget to comment below. And I will talk to you next Friday.